All right, man, I do appreciate everybody for checking in. Happy holidays, Christmas, whatever you choose to celebrate. Appreciate it, man. Hopefully, y'all can make it to the new year, new decade. And um, I'll be doing the Packer Lions prediction uh, in a little bit. I do appreciate the love and support from everybody, um, for real. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, um, yeah, man, uh, car dealer, to your right, next to David Block's right, his left, excuse me, has uh, made a challenge to David Block. If he can beat the Green Bay Packers Sunday, all right, um, that he will buy him the car of his choice, uh, a Ford F-150 or, or a Silverado or whatever he wants. He's a car dealer. I think his name is uh, Matt Bowers. I could be wrong. You know, but it's a car of David Block's choice if he can beat the Packers. Uh, you're probably asking why is this the Saints fans asking the Detroit Lions quarterback to beat the Packers because the Packers um, are the number two seed, I think, right now behind the 49ers. And that Drew Brees would need that extra rest. They are the three seed, meaning they'll have to play wild card weekend. So um, they will probably have to play probably the Vikings. So uh, basically, Drew Brees and them probably want that rest. So if the Lions could beat the Packers Sunday at home at Ford Field, that would drop the Packers down to the third seed. And the Saints, they win whoever they play. They would be the second seed. You know, and it's been amazing that the Saints have held up, you know, with Drew Brees being injured and Teddy Bridgewater being as good as he is um, off the bench and holding it down for a while. But most most Lions fans uh, would say, oh, we got good draft position and we want to draft Chase Young, right? And obviously you can hear a situation where Bob Quinn said, well, Chase Young doesn't fit our scheme or whatever. But how good is Chase Young? I think we'll find out a lot Saturday when he goes up against Clemson. I think everybody preordaining Chase Young to be that top guy. And I believe, like I said on many occasions the last couple of weeks, I believe the Lions are a team that is looking for the best available player, if not a quarterback. You know, and that's what I said. The Lions ain't close to winning a, a, a wood medal. They're not close to winning the NFC North. It's completely a complete rebuild. They need quarterback. They need running back. They need new receivers that can get down the field. They need all new offensive line, probably except for center. They need a, a few defensive linemen. They need all new linebackers, probably except Tavai. They need corners. If they're going to meet Darius Slade, they need safeties. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when they came off of 0 16. They need everything. Bob Quinn has stripped this, stripped this team of every ounce of talent that it has. And for Darius Slay, once he leaves, that's it. That's the talent right there. You know, so I, I, I truly believe it makes no difference. If they hold down the three, three spot or they go down to the four for five spot, it doesn't matter. I don't. I really haven't seen a lot of film on Chase Young, but I don't really see him as as that star off the edge. And who have they really beat to tell? And I think Saturday is going to tell a lot. And if Ohio State going to the national championship, I can make a better assessment. But I can make a case they can trade down to get more assets. I can make a case they can take Chase Young. I can make a case they can take Jerry Jewy out of Alabama. I can make a lot of case scenarios. So, in my opinion, if they, you know, it wouldn't make it wouldn't piss me off if they upset the Green Bay Packers. It'd be the lion thing to do and not the tank. They're at home. This is home finale. It wouldn't make me mad. Anything the Lions do on here, it just can't make me mad no more. It's kind of like being going through the ringer in life. You know, certain things that went bad for so long, you done been through hell and back. You know, when you they take you back to hell, it's like, all right, I'll take a ticket and I'll sit on the hell bench. You know, the fiery bench. It doesn't really make me mad. If they beat the Green Bay Packers and make them have to play the Vikings again, I'll <laughs> Or another team in the NFC, cool. You know, if they hold on a three spot, cool. But if they hold on a three spot, do y'all trust Bob Quinn and get it right? Because everybody want Chase Young, Chase Young. Chase. What if he's not the right guy? Jerry Judy's probably the best football player in his draft. You do need a quarterback. You understand your, your quarterback had broken bones in his back two years in a row. You do need a lot of things. You probably need to move down and get assets and, and build the line and, and take a developmental quarterback. I mean, you got a lot of needs on this team. This team needs like 22 players. <laughs> Real talk, this team needs like 22 players. You know, but it would really, it really wouldn't make me a difference. If they won, I could rub it in Packers' face. If they lose, I mean, we move on. 
move on to the draft. But Chase Young may not be the guy. He may very well not be that guy. You may need a running. You might see a running back you like. You might see a receiver you like. You might see a quarterback. If you want to take Tua and let him sit out a year or two, it's not going to matter. Just make sure you get the pick right. The pick ain't got to be like McDonald's hot and, you know, or Little Caesars hot and ready. It don't have to be. You got to get the pick right. You got to get it right. This ain't the, the Lions ain't in a position where they trying they can hit a home run. This is this is going to be a, a, a nine inning situation where they building the right situation up. So I'm not mad if they do do win or not win. It don't mean Chase Young will come in and be Von Miller. If Chase Young can be Von Miller next year, in a lack of talent on this team, it ain't going to make a difference. So. You know, for people saying, oh, it's this Lions thing to do to win against the Green Bay Packers. If we can make the Packers go to the, uh, have to play in the first round of wild card weekend, I ain't mad at it. If we can secure the third pick, okay, I'm I'm cool. But it don't mean Bob Quinn going to do the right thing to get the right pick, right? It don't. So just keep that in mind. You know, but I appreciate it. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation? That link's in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. Uh, other than that, man, just keep looking out for your boy. Share the video. Appreciate the love, support. And y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. And other than that, prediction video coming.